Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about a ton of things happening right now uh, within this industry. It is a very, very exciting time to be you know, a pro utility investor and also someone that has been researching, studying and uh, really kind of just analyzing the overall market. I mean, listen, you know, as I create content around this space, I'm not trying to be something that I'm not right like I'm not on here saying that I'm an expert at anything because I'm not and you know one of the biggest things that I always say is that I'm not really an influencer I don't care about influencing anyone to do anything more so I'm just a researcher when it comes to this space I'm very excited about the future around crypto and the technology and we're starting to see the major steps being taken from names like Ripple from Hedera Quant you name it and although, yes, you know, being a utility maxi, um, the problem is that everyone will always claim that utility doesn't matter because the only thing really moving is meme coins. And although, yes, in the short term, meme coins will do good. But once regulations are in place, all of those games that are being played around, you know, investing into the next rug pull or, you know, trash coin, all of that ends. And a new day will begin where utility has the sun shining on it, and that's the only major focus point. And that day is coming. Whether or not you want to admit it or not, it's okay. But regardless, I hope everybody's having a beautiful day or a beautiful night if you guys are out there in the world. You probably already know by now, because a lot of people have been talking about it, Ripple's launching a stablecoin. Now, you guys know me, I don't curse on this channel because first off, there's a lot of people that are watching the uh, videos that have children around, so I am very respectful of that. But also, I don't really do it because you don't have to dumb down conversations by, you know, throwing in random curse words. But regardless, I said, did someone say, and of course you guys can read the screen, this definitely is a big moment, right? We have from Brad Garthinghouse, the CEO at Ripple, launching a stablecoin is a natural step for Ripple as we bridge the gap between traditional finance and crypto. We have, you know, one, the years of experience, two, regulatory footprint, three, a strong balance sheet, and four, a network with near global payout coverage to offer the best of crypto enabled payments using XRP and our future stablecoin together. Now, before I get really into everything, because we're going to break down pretty much everything within this. Um, I want to talk about a few things I've been noticing. First off, a lot of FUD behind this move. Um, there was actually an individual that is uh, from XPMarket.com, the CEO and co-founder, and he put out a full statement regarding this. I'm not going to waste time going over every single thing about this. Um, but basically what happened was Coindesk put out an article where it paints a rather bleak picture of Ripple and XRP suggesting Ripple is scrambling for relevance with its new stablecoin venture. But let's dive into the claims and add some much needed context. Now, again, I will let all of you go check this out if you want. Uh, mainly, it's just trying to kill the FUD, which there's been so much around Ripple and XRP in the last couple of uh, weeks. It's insane. Um, but we have from CEO at Ripple, Brad Garthinghouse, to put it mildly, it's embarrassing for Coindesk. It's embarrassing for the industry. But us again, Arter uh, uh, points out, these are the kinds of people, a deputy editor holding the whole industry back, childish antics masquerading under what should be a credible brand that leads coverage of the crypto industry. And, you know, it's just like the Forbes article that got released or even the Fox article that got released. It's all painting, you know, legitimate actors in the space as the bad guys or, oh, they're scrambling for any sort of relevancy. But then you go over to Coindesk or like Cointelegraph and guess what they're, you know, painting in the great spotlight? How meme coins are going crazy. What's going on here? But regardless, right? Let's actually talk about why this matters, because a lot of people were saying, oh, this is done. It's killing XRP. XRP is useless. Think for a second. Take a step back and think about this. Ripple, a company that has been pioneering the XRP ledger and XRP in terms of their cross-border payment solution for years and years and years. You have David Schwartz, who is the co-creator of the XRP ledger with some other great minds. And then also, right, Ripple going to battle with the SEC for over $200 million to clear XRP as a security, but they're trying to replace XRP with a stable coin? 
remember this is a stablecoin launched by Ripple, a company that has been pro XRP for years and years and years. But now they're trying to kill XRP. Think about how stupid that sa that sounds, right? But regardless, we have over here, right? This is uh, Santiago uh, Velez. We have Osnap because Uphold announced it as well. And we have this makes XRP token useless. This is everyone's thought process. Not at all. With sufficient stablecoin liquidity across multiple blockchains, it creates demand for the underlying asset via fees and pulls. Did USDC, USDT negate Ethereum on Ethereum? No. It's the same exact way that, and I know that this is kind of bringing up a scam, but Terra Luna, right? Luna with the stablecoin. The stablecoin didn't kill Luna. Stablecoins are a big deal for the ecosystem. They help drive liquidity. They help drive on and off ramps. They help improve the ecosystem. Over here, we have from Ripple, the official announcement, right? So the stablecoin market is booming around $150 billion today and projected to soar past 2.8 trillion by 2028. There's a clear demand for trust, stability, and utility. That's why later this year, we're launching a stablecoin pegged one-to-one -to, -one to the USD on the XRP ledger and Ethereum. This move extends Ripple's reach into both institutional and DeFi realms, diversifying use cases and enhancing our payments infrastructure to bring the worlds of traditional finance and decentralized finance closer together. Ripple's stablecoin will be 100% backed by US dollar deposits, US government bonds and cash equivalents, and Ripple pledges transparency with monthly third-party um, attestations, ensuring trust and reliability. Stablecoins serve as a pivotal entry point to DeFi and introducing a trusted enterprise grade stablecoin to the XRP ledger will generate more use cases, liquidity and opportunities for developers and users alike. This is huge for the XRP ledger. Simultaneously, we know the future of crypto is multi-chain. Launching the stablecoin on both the XRP ledger and Ethereum opens doors to cross-chain interoperability. Ripple's move into stablecoins isn't just about innovation, it's about contributing to the XRP Ledger ecosystem and setting the stage for a more robust and diverse crypto landscape. And I actually love that this is launching on both the XRP Ledger and Ethereum because this is a multi-chain future. And this allows for cross-chain interoperability to be realized in, which only provides more and more bridges for more developers, users, and builders to come over to the XRP Ledger from Ethereum as well, which I do think will eventually happen, uh, just like a lot of the developers and projects were moving from Ethereum over over to even Hydera uh, back in 2021 up to now. But beyond this, right, if we go over to the official announcement, this is going to bring more utility and liquidity to the XRP ledger. But wait, no, it's killing XRP, right? All the stupidity that is flowing around this space, it's honestly ridiculous. I have to admit, you know, being in this space for a while, studying and researching, you really understand what matters and what doesn't. You have people claiming that the stablecoin is bad for XRP. Anyone that's been around for a while that's saying that, either one, is just stupid, two, they're extremely lost when it comes to the technology, or three, just like Brad Garlinghouse is saying over here, it's just embarrassing. And it's mainly them just pointing out negatives just to point out negatives or try to paint FUD behind XRP and this move with Ripple. It's comical at this point that you have a lot of people that are out here pretending like they know about the technology even though they don't and a lot of their blatant FUD comments really pinpoint to the lack of knowledge and education behind the space. I cannot stress it enough. Education around the technology in the space is crucial. But regardless, we have Ripple, the leading provider of enterprise blockchain and crypto solutions, announced its plans to launch a stablecoin pegged one-to-one -to, -one to the U.S. dollar. Ripple stablecoin will be 100% backed by the U.S. dollar deposit, short-term U.S. government treasuries, and other cash equivalents. This or these reserve assets will be audited by a third-party accounting firm, and Ripple will publish monthly attestations. Now, one thing to take from all of this is what the Federal Reserve has been saying. U.S.-backed stablecoins will be a big deal to put the US dollar in its prime position yet again, even in the digital age. Stable coins backed by the US dollar are a big deal. Now, there's a lot here. There's even some quotes here. 
And we have institutions entering this space are finding success by partnering with compliant crypto native players and Ripple's track record and resiliency speaks for itself. As we launch new products and acquire companies through multiple market cycles, this move is also monumental for the XRP Ledger community, driving more use cases, liquidity and opportunities for developers and users. This is a huge, huge deal for XRP and the XRP Ledger. At launch, the stablecoin will be available on the XRP Ledger and Ethereum blockchains with plans to expand to additional blockchains and decentralized finance protocols and apps over time, which I think is a great move. Um, we also have from Monica Long, issuing our stablecoin on the XRP Ledger and Ethereum will serve as a pivotal entry point to unlock new opportunities for institutional DeFi use cases across multiple ecosystems. And remember, Ripple has been hiring around institutional DeFi initiatives, even for the XRP Ledger. The XRP Ledger's native capabilities include a decentralized exchange and automated market maker. They were built to utilize XRP as the bridge asset. Bridge or sorry, bringing a trusted uh, stablecoin onto the XRP Ledger will drive more adoption and development, contributing to a vibrant ecosystem. And here are the key benefits behind it. So one, enterprise grade. Ripple specializes in blockchain-based enterprise grade solutions that financial institutions and enterprises need. Ripple will leverage both XRP and the stablecoin in its payment solution to further improve the customer experience and serve as the first enterprise use case of the asset at scale. There is demand from Ripple's customers in emerging markets to enable stablecoin payouts. Compliance first mindset as well. And this is where they mention how, again, the company and its subsidiaries collectively hold a New York bit license, nearly 40 money transmitter licenses across the US, a major payment institution license from the Monetary Authority of Singapore, and also the virtual asset service provider registration with the Central Bank of Ireland. And there's also some uh, talks about the acquisition of standard uh, custody and things like that. But regardless, next up on the list is liquidity on the DEX, the decentralized exchange. While XRP is the native currency on the XRP ledger, the ledger was built to support any type of asset issued to trade on the DEX and quickly settle anywhere in the world with low transaction cost. Bringing more credible assets on the DEX, such as Ripple Stablecoin, will drive numerous benefits for users, developers, and apps. Transparent Stablecoin Reserves backed by one-to-one. -one. We've already went over it multiple times. Uh, Multi-chain compatibility. Again, really kind of just building out cross-chain interoperability. But we also have down here for over 10 years, Ripple has been the industry leader in providing enterprise blockchain and crypto solutions. It was the first company to address the multi-trillion dollar pain points associated with cross-border payments utilizing blockchain and crypto at scale. Ripple's payment and custody infrastructure has experienced continuous uh, global growth with live custody offerings in 20 jurisdictions and payments solutions available in 80 plus payout markets, representing more than 90% of the global foreign exchange market. Again, at the forefront of this major move is Ripple. They are a giant when it comes to a lot of these initiatives. But also, what does David Schwartz have to say? Well, we have over here from Anthony Welfare, who is the uh, strategic advisor around CBDCs with Ripple. We have Ripple CTO has authored a, bl a blog to explain how the XRP Ledger feature of auto bridging, which helps to enable the efficient trading of stablecoins on the XRP Ledger. One of the key use cases for auto bridging is enabling efficient trading of stablecoins on the XRP Ledger stablecoins, which are designed to minimize volatility by being pegged to a stable asset like the US dollar are crucial for many DeFi applications. Hypothetically, let's say you want to buy a euro stablecoin using a US dollar stablecoin, but there isn't a large direct market between the two. Auto bridging allows your trade to tap into liquidity from other markets by automatically finding the most efficient path for your trade, which could leverage XRP or other assets as bridge currencies. For example, depending on the market dynamics, when you want to make the transaction, the feature could execute your USD to Euro uh, trade by first converting US dollars to XRP and then XRP to Euros. And remember what I've always said, in terms of the AMM, the automated market maker, we will have liquidity pools where you have US dollar um, XRP or even XRP Euro, whatever the case may be, there's going to be a ton of liquidity pools to support things like this. And XRP could still be the settlement asset between two stable coins. They've also given us a video regarding this when it comes to the stable coin and CBDC platform. XRP is still parked between the two. This is a big, big deal. And even over here we have from Monica Long, Yet again, stablecoins play a vital role as on and off ramps to US dollar. In the wake of last year's banking crisis, they're necessary for traditional institutions, especially in the US, to access crypto markets. I'm incredibly excited for Ripple to fill a key need in the market with our stablecoin. 
And also over here, we also have from Boris, who is the head of DeFi at Ripple. He put out a breakdown on how he's been very excited about stablecoin initiatives. And we also have from an ex-Ripple employee, Matt Hamilton, he's talking about how this is great work. Finding out it was you behind the idea makes it makes a lot of sense. I think this could be a good stepping stone to help Ripple's institutional clients move into stablecoins with a trusted regulated partner. And we have, thank you, sir. I think it will be a big game changer and a great foundation for an institutional DeFi ecosystem. And yes, this is all about having that institutional DeFi ecosystem blossom into reality this is a big deal just to give you guys a quick insight back in 2022 stablecoin volumes were almost equivalent to visa they had 11 trillion dollars worth of on-chain stablecoin transactions in 2022 not even in a bull run visa had 11.6 trillion so stablecoins are absolutely massive and this could amount to billions of dollars being settled on the xrp ledger utilizing even xrp but this is still very good for the ecosystem, whether or not XRP is the settlement currency uh, or asset between these two stablecoins. Again, auto bridging is a big deal. But outside of all of this, this is still good for the entire ecosystem as this brings in more institutional applications, DeFi applications in general. This is what we have been waiting for. If you are an XRP holder, this is absolutely massive. So with that being said, I hope that you guys, you know, enjoyed this video. I hope that this kind of gave you a little bit of an insight and breakdown on why this is such a huge deal. There's been so much FUD, so much nonsense being pushed around this. Um, and I hope that kind of clarifies a few things. But regardless, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on if you guys did. Also, if you guys do want to go check out NordVPN, guys, four months free and also savings up uh, of upwards of almost $162 utilizing my link or my coupon code NCash official. Uh, you guys can go check out uh, NordVPN through the links down in the description below, as well as the comments below. This is another layer of security in the world of crypto. You can never be too safe in crypto. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. They are launching a ton of a, a ton of new products, even their eSIM uh, product as well. So if you guys do want to go check out NordVPN, you guys can do so through my link down in the description below, as well as in the comments below. Coupon code NCash official. You guys who want to go check it out you guys are more than welcome to like i said so with that being said this has been nick thanks for watching peace out